Hey everyone, Sweet Johnny Cage here. Welcome to the January 2023 channel update. It's crazy that it's 2023. This channel update, as with all the others, will be available for one week exclusively to channel members ahead of the general public. So if you're a channel member, thank you so much for the support as always. Uh, a lot of you hit, I think, like the two-year mark and the one-year mark. So thank you so much for the support over the past couple of years. And if you're a new member, hope you stick around. All right, so we have a lot to talk about in this update. Um, in the last update, I recorded that, I think, New Year's Eve, um, or New Year, the day before New Year's Eve, I think, um, from New York, from uh, my couch, or my dad's couch, while I was sick with a cold. Got over that cold just fine. It was not COVID, luckily. Uh, but I had a very nice time being back in New York with friends and family. Got to do a lot. Got to really spend some quality time with everybody, which was very nice. Uh, hoping to go back maybe in the spring, maybe for opening day for the Mets. But I don't know. Airline tickets are crazy expensive right now. So I may just wait till like June or July. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, um, after coming back from New York, uh, basically got right to work, which was nice. Um, I did a I think like a four or five hour live stream of a fresh character in Elden Ring to kind of discuss why it is my game of the year of 2022. Back in the start of 2022, it's so like January 2022, I did a full playthrough of Returnal, which was my game of the year for 21. I may have actually done that in December. Um, I basically did it because I felt that Returnal was robbed uh, from a lot of outlets and from the Game Awards. I really thought it should have won game of the year. I think it was one of the most creative games of the year and one of the most fun to play. So I did that stream or did uh, those uploads in a bit of a cheeky manner, uh, but people really liked it. Um, and I got to take some of the feedback that people left in my walkthroughs and implement it there, namely uh, using items that I pick up right away, even if I don't love them, but just using them to have them is, is nice. So I was glad to do that. So for Elden Ring, um, you know, having been at the Game Awards, was able to watch it, you know, win Game of the Year in person. I also got to see the shout out to somebody's ordained rabbi, uh, Bill Clinton. So that was cool. And uh, big fan of all the Bill Clinton mods on PC now. <laughs> but um, I started a fresh playthrough on stream to just talk about why it was my Game of the Year. Uh, folks really liked the stream, got a good response. And I've gotten the question more than once of, uh, when is the next episode, <laughs> or it, will I continue this playthrough? The answer is no. The main, re the really the only reason I did that stream was to discuss why it's my game of the year. I've already played through that game f like in its entirety twice, and it's a huge game. Um, I did it once, you know, when it came out for the guides, and I did New Game Plus a couple times to shore up some stuff that I missed. Um, and then I did the full playthrough walkthrough, which was like 60 something parts. So it, it, I, I've played Elden Ring to death, so I won't be doing it again. Um, there is a possibility that at some point down the road, I want to play it and I'll pick that character back up and I'll stream it. But in reality, I'm probably not going to do that or really anytime soon. So that playthrough won't be continuing. But if you're, excuse me, if you're interested in my thoughts of why Elden Ring is my game of the year from last year, Go check out that live stream. I'll leave a link in the description. Uh, I recommend checking out like the last hour, um, maybe like the last 40 minutes. I really go in depth of like why I loved it so much. Um, but speaking of from software games, I just tonight, like just before recording this, I just finished editing um, all the metadata for my Dark Souls 2 version 1.0 full playthrough. This was something that I started in February 2022 while waiting for Elden Ring to come out. Um, another YouTuber that I follow, Allison by Proxy, she posted on Twitter that Dark Souls 2 is her favorite Souls game, and I was just like, how is that possible? Like, there's no way. Um, <laughs> and so I started to think, like, is Dark Souls 2 as bad as I remember? Like, Scholar of the First Sin definitely improved it a whole lot. And I talked about that extensively uh, in that walkthrough that I recorded either last year. No, I guess it was two years ago, um, in 21. But I haven't played version 1.0 since 2014, since it came out. And so, back in 2022, in February, while waiting for Elden Ring, I decided, okay, let me bust out my PS3 delete the game off of it, delete the updates, 
disconnect it from the internet and put in my Dark Souls 2 disc and play 1.0. And I did. I got up to Iron Keep, so I recorded eight or nine parts of that walkthrough, and then I got Elden Ring, <laughs> and I stopped. <laughs> and it's always been in the back of my mind to pick it back up, because I still had the footage, I still had the videos, they were edited, they just hadn't been uploaded. And I still had the save file, obviously, and it was always in the back of my head to get back to it and finish it. And my intention was always to upload it all at the same time. Um, it didn't make much sense to like, do it piecemeal. So I sat on the first eight parts of this walkthrough, eight or nine parts of this walkthrough, for 11 months and change. And so last week, I think it was January 8th, I started it again. I picked it back up and finished it. All 21 parts of that playthrough are available right now for channel members for a week. So channel members get a full playthrough of Dark Souls 2 version 1.0 on PlayStation 3 exclusively for a week. So if you're interested, please check that out. Uh, let me know your thoughts. I, I will warn you, and I'll warn everybody, because you know when this goes live to the public, so will that playthrough. I definitely complain a lot during the playthrough, I think it's for good reason, and you actually get to hear me, not, I don't rage, but you get to hear me get angry at this game, and like, somebody in a, in that Elden Ring live stream a couple weeks ago said, I, I want to know, like, what makes you rage, like, I'd love to hear you rage, and, and I know they were saying that in, like, a joking manner, but, like, I really never do, I don't ever throw my controller, I may, like, drop it, you know, on the desk or something, and, like, place it down firmly, um, but, like, I don't break things, I don't hit anything, nothing like that. I don't really yell. But with this Dark Souls 2 playthrough, specifically during the fight with King Vendrick, I was getting tight. So <laughs> this is really like your one opportunity to hear me rage in the way I rage. Um, so definitely go check that out. But again, I'm, I'm, I'm glad that that was done. I'm glad I finished that walkthrough and I'm glad that it's uploaded. I'm glad that it's done. I'm glad that it's out of my mind as like an unfinished project. But the game is as poor as I remember. Um, and I'm glad for that in a way. Like, I'm glad that I'm not crazy and I'm glad that my memory is correct of like my experience with Dark Souls 2 back in 2014. Uh, what's kind of funny is I didn't realize this until today when I was talking with a friend of mine and telling him about this playthrough. Um, when I was going through, uh, I guess, earlier this week and finishing it up, I killed King Vendrick. And I got the trophy for doing so. Like, it, the trophy popped. And I was like, there's no way I didn't kill him on PS3. I remember giving up on getting the trophies because they were so frustrating to do. And I also remember that I did not buy the season pass for Dark Souls 2. Uh, it's really like one of the first games that I ever bought the DLC for. Um, and if you can believe that, I mean, this is how 2014 was. There wasn't a ton of DLC in games. Um we were in the same generation. The PS3 and Xbox 360 is when DLC started, at least on consoles and the modern way of thinking of DLC. Um, plenty of PC games have like expansion packs and stuff, but um, anyway, the trophy popped and I was like, there's no way, there's no way. And I remembered I didn't buy the season pass. I gave up on the trophies. I played the first DLC. Uh, I think I beat Sin, I think, um, the the dragon. And then I got the second DLC, and I never beat uh, Sir Alon. Never beat him. I gave up on him. Um, and then I ended up getting uh, Dark Souls 2 on PC a couple months later. And actually, no, now that I'm thinking about it, holy shit. On PS3, I, I really can't remember... If I got the DLC on PS3, or if I didn't, I'd have to update the game to figure it out. But um, on PC, I never finished the DLC. I got the first one, finished it, I think. Got the second one, did not kill Serilon, and then stopped. Like, I didn't like Dark Souls 2 to the point that I did not get the third DLC. I was just so done with it. I didn't care. Then when Scholar came out, I was like, okay... Let me actually play through this whole thing. Let me finish this. That was like the first time that I did these things. But I killed Vendrick on PC. I have the trophy for that on Steam. I killed Dark Lurker on, PS, on PC. I had the trophy for that on Steam. So like 
it's not that I didn't kill them on PS3, but I got it all on PC a few months later and did it again and got the vast more majority of the trophy. So when you're watching that walkthrough or that playthrough and you hear me confused about Vendrick and confused about Dark Lurker and confused about bringing everybody to Majula for that trophy, know that it's because I didn't do it on PS3, but I did do it on PC a few months later. So that's where my confusion stems from. I just want to kind of clarify that. I realize I just talked in circles for a couple minutes, but it was a weird time <laughs> because Dark Souls 2 was just like, I wasn't into it. And it always shocks me that I wasn't because I loved Dark Souls 1. I went back and played Demon Souls after that. Loved it. Loved Dark Souls 3, Bloodborne, Sekiro, Elden Ring, everything. Anyway, let's check out that playthrough. I hope you like it and let me know. Okay, so going forward on the channel, uh, I am glad that I took a break over Christmas. I kind of came back to LA re-energized in terms of uh, creating content. You know, the end of 22 is a mad dash with Crisis Core and getting that done. Um, I can say pretty much unequivocally, I'm done with Crisis Core videos. Um, I might keep the footage for a while and then maybe one day go back and do that like encyclopedia of uh, mission videos, but still not in love with how it may turn out. Anyway, the release calendar for the next six months is stacked. So listen to this. January 24th, Forspoken. January 27th, Dead Space Remake. February 22nd, PSVR 2, which I do have pre-ordered. March 17th, Star Wars Jedi Survivor. March 24th, Resident Evil 4 Remake. May 12th is Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Maybe. I think it's going to get delayed. And June 22nd is Final Fantasy 16. That is an insane six months. I spoke, I think... Uh, in the previous update about Forspoken, I tried the demo, really wasn't in love with it, but hearing the press talk about this game and the preview that they played and the additional content that was in that preview that we didn't get in the public demo is making me want to give this game another chance. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy the game and I may, excuse me, I'm going to get the game and then I may do guides or I may buy this game and end up doing nothing with it. <laughs> so it's it. I'll probably make like at least one video. Like I'll see how it goes. Um, I'll see what the structure of the game is like. I'll see how things work. Um, I want to try it. Like I want to like this game. It is visually appealing to me. I think the combat is okay. Um, and like the story is interesting enough that I want to give it a shot. But I may not end up making guides for it. Uh, but it, it's on the radar, so it's it's a big maybe in terms of will content get made. Dead Space Remake, uh, I always say this about horror games. I generally don't like being scared, but I know Dead Space Remake is like a huge thing. I didn't play the original. I kind of always wanted to, so I may pick that up, may or may not make content for it. PSVR 2, um, we have the Horizon launch game coming with that. I believe I have the Horizon bundle pre-ordered. Um, I've never done VR content on this channel, never done guides for that, but again, it's something that I want to look into. Uh, Durasane is a From Software game um, that I have played, I think like 75% of the way through. I have a problem with v PSVR because I wear glasses. It's like really hard to use and like see straight and see clearly. I'm hoping that because PSVR 2's lenses are 4K or the display, is, it has 4K displays, I'm hoping it's a lot better. Unfortunately, it's not backwards compatible, which is a huge bummer because I would have loved to have gone back and like played other stuff. Um, but I'm hoping that I have a better time at PSVR 2 and can maybe make some content. So we'll see about that. Um, Jedi Survivor, which again is March 17th, that's a really interesting game in terms of me making content for it. I made a few guides for uh, Fallen Order a couple years ago, but I had a really bad time with that game. For me, it was extremely glitchy. I had some like weird game halting bugs in that game and it just made for a very poor experience for me. So I stopped making guides, but I did finish it. Like I finished the game, but I just didn't make a lot of guides for it. But the guides that I did make still get comments, like still get people thanking me for it. So I'm really hoping that 
I have a better time with Jedi Survivor, I will 100% play it. But I, I'm hoping that I have a better time this way. I'm more enthusiastic about making content for it. It remains to be seen. I know I like among my friends, I'm like the only one that had buggy, like a, a buggy experience. Um, and like I was streaming some of it, and people were like, "I can't believe this keeps happening to you." I just had bad luck with it. Resident Evil 4 remake. It comes out uh, seven days, so a week after Jedi Survivor. You, I've covered Resident Evil 2 Remake, 3 Remake, and 8 on this channel. I would love to cover 4 Remake. Um, really depends on what happens with Jedi Survivor. But I, I really want to cover 4 Remake, so that's up on the list. And that brings us to the to the final two games. Tears of the Kingdom, I fully expect to get delayed. I mean, it's January 16th, and we haven't heard anything about this game since E3. I don't have a lot of faith in it. In, uh, uh, I don't have a lot of faith in it coming out on time. That said, I'm extremely excited to cover this game on this channel. I wish I was working this channel uh, back when Breath of the Wild came out. I really do. Um, because I feel like I could have done a very good job with it. So hopefully it does come out this year. But 100% I'll be covering Tears of the Kingdom. Final Fantasy 16 is a game that when it was first announced, I really wasn't keen on it. I don't typically like political drama in RPGs. Like, I, it's one of the reasons I don't like 12. Um, it's a huge reason I don't like 12, is I don't like the story of 12. Um, and 16 seemed to be in the same vein. And it also looks like 14 in a lot of ways, at least it did early on. But the latest trailer that they showed at the Game Awards legitimately has me excited. So, I'll be covering 16 for sure. And that's kind of the next six months of releases. Again, things can get delayed. Fully expecting Zelda to get delayed, but that's what it's looking like. Now, with all that said, because I just went through Dark Souls 2 version 1.0, it got me thinking. The only Dark Souls game that I haven't played is the original version of Dark Souls 1. Like I said, I started playing Dark Souls 1. I got it on PC when Prepare to Die Edition came out, or like shortly after it came out. So I never played that game in its original state on PS3. I know like the game has been got balanced a bunch of times, like spell damage got balanced, weapon damage got balanced, some drops got changed. I know that stuff changed, but because I just spent, you know, 20 something hours going through Dark Souls 1, uh, Dark Souls 2 version 1.0 and complaining about it, <laughs> I figured it's only fair to go through Dark Souls 1 in its original state and see how bad that was. Now, mind you, I have played Dark Souls 1 on PS3. I did go back and get the Platinum Trophy on it. But again, that was during the era of Prepare to Die Edition. So, like, it's it's the latest version on PS3 that I have um, gotten the Platinum on. I've never played it in its original state. So, that's going to be a side project that I work on. It'll be very similar to, or the release will be very similar to Dark Souls 2 version 1.0. I'm going to upload it all at once. It'll be um, exclusive for channel members for a week. I don't know when it's going to happen. It'll just be a thing that happens when it does. I'll keep you updated in the channel updates. Um, who knows? Maybe I hate Forspoken and it happens this month. I don't know. But that's kind of the next little side project that I want to do and like see how it runs. I know it runs poorly. Like I know that. But I want to see if it's like as frustrating to play as Dark Souls 2. I don't think it's going to be, <laughs> but we'll see. But that's it. That's the channel update. Um, very excited for 2023. We've got some banger games coming out, hopefully. Um, you know, between Tears of the Kingdom and 16 and Jedi Fallen Order and, you know, all that and Resident Evil 4. So looking forward to it. Uh, let me give a thank you to my channel members. Again, you all have access to this Dark Souls 2 playthrough right now. Thank you very much to John Aldrich with 32 months, Hector J. Estrada with 19 months, Joe Saunders with 19 months, Daniel Cockrell with 15 months, Spencer Young with 12 months, Phoenix Loader with 11 months, The Old One with 10 months, Brian Brubaker with 9 months, Stu J. Mac 26 with 8 months, Baghdad Money with 5 months, Greg with 4 months, and brand new channel member, Smudgers Dash, 
with 25 days. So thank you very much to you all for being channel members and for your continued support. And if you'd like to become a channel member, you can do so by clicking the blue join button below this video. You get these channel updates that we can advance and surprise stuff like this Dark Souls 2 full playthrough uh, in advance as well. All right, cool. As always, I'm Sweet Johnny Cage, and I'll see you in the next channel update. Hopefully I'll see you with Forspoken or something else this month. But as always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.